Hello everybody. So I'm coming back on here to talk about my Insta smile. So you know I've been bragging about my Insta smile. I love them. They're beautiful, right? So I'm starting to be a little bit of a spoilt brat here, and this is gonna sound horrible, but sorry I look rough, y'all. I've been at work all day. I just got off. I've been watching so many veneer things, and I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't wait and do my research a little more. Yes, they're beautiful. They really are. And for the price, I really can't complain too much for top and bottom. My only issue, though, with them is I want them really, really bright white, and they're starting to lose their color already, and I haven't even had them a year. I've only had them a couple of months, and I don't eat in them. I, I've only smoked in them like twice and I wouldn't recommend smoking in them because they do lose their color pretty fast anyway and the tightness of them definitely goes away they loosen up quickly like to the point that they move it sucks after you've had them a while they also are like bulky like really bulky I would like them to be thinner I know my teeth are bad but I just would like them to be thinner and wider and like the lines, you can see them, but I feel like they need to be a little deeper in some areas, especially like right here. I mean, they go to the gum line real good. They do cover everything, but they just don't look like real teeth. Like when you get close to them, there's no lines like, you know, to make them look like a real, like real teeth. I don't know. What do you guys think? Honestly, let me try to get in the light here. I need some other people's advice and opinions here, y'all. People that have bought veneers. Is there anybody out there that's bought InstaSmile that have the same issue as I am? And I also noticed that their two front teeth are really big. Like, they make them really big. And I don't understand that. Like, mine are not that big. Like, mine are ruined, though, too, on the underneath. Like, hold on. I'll show you. Okay, so you see that? That's the inside of them. That's the back of them. I mean, there and there's a lot of excess plastic around it, as you can see. Sorry, I'll have a lisp without it. Because I'm so used to wearing them. But this is how bad my teeth are, okay? They're disgusting, y'all. I'm sorry. Plus, it don't help that I just ate something. And I took these out to do it. But see the color difference? Like, these are really white, but I just, they're not, I don't know, they're just not white enough for me. And they look a lot whiter in camera and stuff. They're not this white. Like, you can actually see them. I mean, I, I don't know, they're beautiful, but look how thick they are. Do you see that? How thick? Like, I just feel, that doesn't look like real teeth when it's like that. This way, it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It really is. Besides the teeth being as big as they are, like bunny teeth, compared to this. I mean, look. You see how much bigger those are from my real teeth? I don't know. I wanted the straighter one, of course. I mean, they just go on really easy. I do like them, and... I did spend a lot of money, but, like, I want, I don't know, I want wider and thinner, and, I mean, of course, I still want it to cover good and stuff, I just don't want them to be as bulky, like, I don't know if you can see it this way, like, when I turn this way, you see how they kind of stick out, they're just a lot thicker, like, even with these, like, look. Like, let me show you the bottoms now. Sorry if that was gross. You see that? There's Insta Small. But do you see how thick? This is what I'm talking about, how thick they are. I mean, I get it because I wanted the straighter. I understand it being a little thicker, but I don't know. I just, I want them to look more like teeth on top here. And they don't... I don't know. They don't look that way. 
And again, all the excess plastic. Oops, now I got hair on it, sorry. All the excess plastic back there, like it's not trimmed like it is up here. And I spent a lot of money. Like this is actually my second pair because my first pair, my mother-in-law's dog got a hold of. Like it fell out of the case and she like ran across the floor to get them. So by the time we got to them, it was, yeah, chewed up. So this was the second pair. And I got the straighter ones. My other pair, I've actually still got them. Um, they're supposed to look like my natural teeth. And they look bad. Like, really bad. But I'm not saying it's the smile's bad, y'all. They, they're amazing. They really are. But I'm starting to see there's better out there. And now I want better. Like, they look so pretty in video and pictures. But I wish you could just see them in real life. Like, like up close because the way they look they're they're pretty but like the lines and stuff are just not very distinctive and they're not out I don't know and it is plastic like I don't know it's like a bleaching tray is what I think about and I mean they're like I want to show you guys this like, they're really flimsy. Like, I don't recommend doing this. Because, I mean, they, they break easy, I think. That's why I don't try to eat or anything with them. And they just go in and out. They don't even snap in. And, I don't know, it's a little irritating. I expect them to be tighter and... I don't know. Now I don't have the money to go and look them smile. And it's, it's really been a big, big deal to me. And to spend that much money on something and you want it to be perfect. It really sucks when you don't have the money anymore because you saved up for this. And you initially thought you were getting one thing and it ends up being something completely different. I mean, they're pretty. I guess, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a brat. But I mean, you damn sure can't open your mouth. Excuse my language. Because you see the holes and stuff. But I don't know if that's what makes it latch in as good. Because I see the other ones that look exactly like the mold of your teeth. And like you have to push them down. I don't know if I would like that. I'd be afraid they'd teeter-totter or something in my mouth. Like shiny smiles and bright veneers and... I don't know, Brighter Image Lab. I'd really like to have, like, Brighter Image Lab. Like, the Incredibles. Man, if I had the money for that, I would so do it. But I would try anything that was better than this. And do reviews and everything else for them. But, yeah. I'm just not a big YouTuber. And ain't nobody gonna want me to review any teeth. <laughs> but. It's the smell. I really appreciate everything that you've done for me. But I am a little disappointed that they're really bulky. And they're like Bugs Bunny teeth right here. They're definitely bigger than my teeth. And they definitely hang down more off my teeth. Like, I can explain it. Like, my teeth are probably like right here. So they're still like this much more hanging off. You know what I'm saying? My, of my real teeth and after a while of wearing them they actually make my mouth hurt because of the way it kind of holds it open I guess and like look when I close my mouth I can't hide that like it touches my lip it's almost like butt teeth so I have to like like push it over you know what I'm saying like I don't know. I can I gotta hold my jaw a certain way just to keep them in. To make them look straight and pretty. Cause like that, yeah, they're beautiful. But when you see them up close, just hold on. You see that? There's no distinctive blondes. There's no, I don't know. And I have to have teeth like veneers that are shiny. I like the gloss look. 
I just do. I don't want the dull, like, plastic with no gloss. That just does not appeal to me at all. I want them extremely white. I don't care that they look fake because of the whiteness. I want it to look like I have a Hollywood smile. Like I paid a shit ton of money to have my teeth done. That's just how I want it. Other people want a natural looking smile and I want a Hollywood white looking smile. Like I had paid a crap load of money to have work done on my teeth. And I mean this is, it's close, but it's just not there. Definitely not there. And I just don't have the money anymore to even try. So I'm stuck with this. But anyways, not trying to discourage anybody. I mean, if you don't have a whole lot of money and you are trying to cover up stuff, you know, issues with your teeth and stuff, crooked, any of that stuff, InstaSmile is good. They are a good company. They are, their customer service is amazing. But like I said, if you're really, really picky like I am, you may not like these with them being as bulky and yeah there's, there's some things I'm starting to notice about them that I don't like so much the longer I have them and now I'm stuck with them anyways y'all have a wonderful day just wanted to get on here and rant and wanted to ask people to send me videos and stuff or comment or whatever tell me what the best veneers or what y'all have found that maybe would be something I would want. Thank you.